Though Alien Covenant is in the can and set for release on May 19th, Ridley Scott is already thinking about a sequel. Found at the very end of a set visit report from the Sydney Morning Herald via a report from AVP Galaxy, Scott goes on record saying he is ready to get moving on a, an Alien Covenant sequel. It's reported that while Scott was hard at work on Alien Covenant, he already had the next installment written so that he could move right into the next movie. Speaking about it all, Scott said, You've got to assume to a certain extent success, and from that you'd better be ready. You don't want a two-year gap, so I'll be ready to go again next year. Mark, buy or sell a sequel to Alien Covenant already written and going before cameras as soon as it can next year. Uh, I buy it, Natasha, for no other reason, because if you read Ridley Scott's comments, you can just see, hey, Neil Blomkamp, just stay on the bench, okay? <laughs> we don't need you coming off there anytime soon, because I'm the guy in charge. I made a kick-ass Alien movie, and I'm going to make another one really soon. I would not be buying this if this was six months ago, and I hadn't seen any of the source or the promo materials for Alien Covenant. But, I, I mean, look, I've seen two trailers now, seen some awesome stills. It looks like they got the vibe right. There's going to be a horror element. There's going to be an action element obviously science fiction are, are doctors having too much sex in outer space yes they still are but having these aliens and the xenomorph back to prominence banging their head on the windshield I, I everything i've seen from this movie gets me excited not just for this film so this is not a margot robbie marion situation where i want to see a one-off and we don't need to worry about it again here i want to see this franchise come back to prominence and ridley scott if these trailers are any indication is the guy to do it riley how feel you oh big buy Big buy. Again, see previous answer with Kong Skull Island. Put monsters in space eating people, <laughs> and I'm in. With two mouths. With, not one. With two, two mouths. mouths. Yeah, you get a bonus <laughs> mouth for the price of one. That's right. I, yeah. <laughs> Alien is one of my favorite uh, favorite franchises. Even when we got into the ridiculousness of Alien 3, I still see its merits. That's a Fincher movie. That was the, the birth of, of Fincher getting his, uh, his uh, sea legs for directing. I really like that movie. Guilty uh, movie pleasure is Alien Resurrection. Hmm. I didn't like the Alien Predator ones, though, because they were awful. But this, I'm excited. Now, you remember when Ridley Scott was saying there was going to be, like, four sequels? Like, at one point, he came out and said, I have, like, three sequels mm -hmm. planned after Prometheus. It was like him and James Cameron were drinking in a bar. We're just trying yeah. to, like, you know, show whose stuff was bigger. Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, I, I, I'm going to further connect Prometheus, do some sequels here, and then that's going to go right into Alien, 1978's Alien. Okay, so I love that idea. But he kind of pulled back a bit, it seems like. Now we have one sequel is at least what he's saying coming after of course he's thinking that far ahead i really like the idea that he actually put words to paper that he's like okay i want to be ready because we don't want to have a gap we want to get this out there and it gives me a lot of faith for this movie may 19th is coming out and it, ha it has me so excited because he must really believe in it and hopefully 20th century fox also believes in it we can get a sequel sooner rather than later Schnepp, you're a creative type. Do you think when they made Time Bandits, they should have had another script ready to go? Well, I'm glad Alien is not in Time Bandits. I, that's, if, <laughs> Time Bandits, too, I would have seen it as long as Alien was involved in some way and John Cleese. But honestly, uh, he, they are doing two more sequels. They just have really? the script done mm -hmm. for this one. Because when, they, when he went into making, just forgetting about Prometheus, I think it was called Paradise Lost, whatever they're, the title, Paradise, whatever mm -hmm. they're going with, and they moved forward into just saying, look, we're doing an alien, we're gonna introduce the alien creature, we're gonna go full alien and connect it. He kind of laid out the groundwork to reconnect it all the way back to alien. Mm -hmm. So if you look at it, it'll start with Prometheus, then these three alien movies, and then end with alien. And then if really? he wanted to chuck in James Cameron's just because he's cool, he should, but literally that's gonna close out Ridley Scott directing all of these films, the fir very first one, then Prometheus, and then these three. That's like five movies. That's his own, you know, Cinco de Mayo set. What would you call it? It's not a quadrilogy. Cinco like, de Mayo set. Yeah, yeah the Cinco de Mayo works. set. So I'm I'm really excited about Alien Covenant. I'm glad he's thinking forward enough to have the script ready so they can go right in to shoot the next one because Alien Covenant looks like it's going to deliver. So I'm excited about it. Perry, we see this a lot with directors when they talk about how excited they are about a project when that project is about to hit theaters. Do you see this as being lip service to get the fans revved up, or do you think Ridley Scott truly has all of his ducks in a row if this is a hit? There's no way that this quote just popped up because, you know, to get you hyped about Alien Covenant, this came from a set visit report, and I know Collider.com did their set visit in 2016, so I think it's just a matter of an embargo lifting and someone having found this, this juicy quote in someone's story, so I don't think it was planted for any reason, but I love the Alien franchise. I've loved every single 
stitch of footage that I've seen from Alien Covenant. But even not counting any of that, I buy this because he would be stupid not to be thinking and planning for another movie. If the plan is to make more Alien movies, he should have a script. He should have a script when we're this close to a release date. So this is just smart franchise planning. So I'm going to buy it for that reason. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the way movies get made these days anyways. If you have an idea for something and you're shooting it and you're like, oh, we really have something here that was a great franchise at a point in time, you want to be able to continue that past the next one. That's not just on the director or the writer. That's also on the studio saying, hey, we get more of these xenomorph kind of characters in films, right? So I think we're all kind of excited for Alien Covenant and whatever the future holds beyond that movie.